conversation, let's bring in Managing Director for the Coalition for Jewish Values, Rabbi Yaakov Menken. Uh, good morning, Rabbi. Thanks for joining us. I wanted just to get your reaction to what the congressman had to say. I, I think it's completely appropriate. I think that her half apology really doesn't cut it. Uh, obviously, they try to find some way to blame it on Netanyahu. I heard exactly the same rhetoric two months after Netanyahu was pushed from office, uh, as we know, for uh, a year and a half by Naftali Bennett. Uh, during that period of time, someone said, oh, yeah, we don't really oppose Israel. We just we don't think Israel's racist. We just oppose Netanyahu's policies. Well, Netanyahu's not in power, so why are you boycotting him now? Oh, well, there's no answer to that. Uh, this, the, from the left, if, if you look at President Herzog's address of last week, the fact that they would boycott that address, uh, Herzog himself is a leftist. He is opposed to the very things that Netanyahu is trying to push through. So if they were actually simply opposed to certain Netanyahu policies, they would have been there, they would have been applauding even louder. But no. They're just against a Jewish state, Jews having self-determination, especially in their Holy Land. That's their problem and nothing else. And they keep showing you in a hundred different ways. If you're waiting for them to say this stuff in German, you're doing it wrong. Hmm. Let's listen to those comments. Uh, Israeli President Isaac Herzog firing back at Jai Paul following. Uh, this was a joint address to Congress. Let's listen here. I'm not oblivious to criticism among friends including some expressed by respected members of this house. I respect criticism, especially from friends, although one does not always have to accept it. Questioning the Jewish people's right to self-determination is not legitimate diplomacy, it is anti-Semitism. So Rabbi, several Democrats, they boycotted the Israeli president's address to Congress. Uh, what, do you think that that was the right move, and did they have you know, merit to do that? Well, as I said, the fact that they boycotted, especially when Herzog is himself a man of the left, it shows that he was exactly correct in his, in his response and what he said. That's not criticism. I don't believe that he should have praised the LGBT rally in Tel Aviv. I don't believe that there should be such a huge rally funded by the government in Tel Aviv. Well, there you go. I just criticized Israel's government. Does that mean I'm anti-Semitic? Obviously not. This right. whole thing is a charade. The whole thing is a facade. What they did, showing that they don't even want to listen to a member of the Israeli left, shows that they oppose any Jewish presence there, which of course is classic anti-Semitism. It's the only country in the Middle East that preserves the rights of religious minorities, including Christians. By the way, it's not just Jews. Once they're done, it never, it always begins with the Jews, it never ends with the Jews. So, this idea that Israel, which is the only state that gives minorities rights and gives Jews basic civil rights, when they call that racist, it's obvious where the real racism lies. Yeah, Rabbi, we have about 15 seconds. Where's the outrage over this? Uh, well, it's the normalization of anti Semitism. Somehow it was acceptable to AOC coming to Congress saying the only things she knows about the Middle East are classic signs of anti-Semitism. It was acceptable for Ilan Omar and Rashida Tlaib to come and display their bigotry against Israel and against Jews in Congress. Mm -hmm. So, of course, that's going to continue to rise until the, Demo it's, that's the Democratic Party has to take leadership and reject this from their party. Absolutely. All right, Rabbi Menken, thank you so much. We appreciate you. your time, sir.